In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can add textures in Luminar 4. The first method is to use the Texture Overlay tool. I'm in the Edit view. I'll go down to the Creative category and select Texture Overlay. Next, I will click Load Texture, and then I'll navigate to where my textures are located. This is a rustic textures pack that I've created. I'll go ahead and click on one of these and then select Open. By default, the Texture Overlay tool adds a texture. It doesn't apply a blend mode, but it does reduce the opacity. So if I were to increase the opacity to 100%, it's covering my image. What I like to do is I like to change the blend mode down to either Overlay or Soft Light. I'll go ahead and use Overlay for this example. Then I can reduce that opacity to set it maybe a little bit more subdued than 100%. I can also change the zoom. Usually you're probably gonna wanna go up in the, the zoom. If you go down, then you're gonna start actually seeing uh, the edges of the texture, so I don't really want that. So I'll double click the zoom tool name to reset it. You can also play around with the options here next to your little texture icon. The keep aspect ratio just keeps that aspect ratio of the texture intact. The aspect ratio of my texture and my image are the same here, so you're not seeing anything different. But you may want to use this setting if your texture looks stretched in any way and you want it to kind of retain the normal ratio. Then you'd probably have to also add the zoom in and kind of play around with those settings. You can also flip your texture vertically or horizontally with these buttons. And at the bottom, if you click Advanced Settings, you have some other options that allow you to change the color and tone of the texture itself. These won't directly affect the image. You may see some change to maybe the color or the tone in the image, but a lot of that is going to be dependent on which blending mode you're using. So for example, if you have a texture with some color added to it and you don't want to see that color, simply reduce the saturation slider. You can go all the way to black and white if you want to, or maybe just set it a little bit lower. I have it set to minus 30 there. You can also change the hue, which is just going to affect the color of the texture. And as you can see, it's also affecting the color of my image, and that's because I'm using the overlay blending mode, so that is going to blend with it as well. I'll just reset that back to zero. And of course, contrast and brightness, and just keep playing with those settings until you get a really good blend. Now this is probably the easier method of adding a texture to your image, but there are some limitations to it. One of the limitations is that you can only add one texture to a layer. So if you wanted to add more textures using the texture overlay, you'd have to go back up to your layers panel, click this little plus icon and add a new adjustment layer, and then use those adjustments to add another texture overlay. An advantage to this method, however, is that you can save this as a look if you would like. So if I were to go into looks, I could click save new look, and then I could give this look a name, and it's going to save all of the adjustments that I've applied. In this example, I've only made some changes to the texture overlay tool, but if I had other edits in there as well, I could create a full look with this texture that I could then apply on other images. I'll go ahead and cancel that, and I'll hide the looks panel. But let's go ahead and jump over to another method of adding textures. I'm gonna go back to the creative category and I'm just going to toggle this texture overlay off so that way I no longer see that texture on my image. I'm gonna go back up to the layers panel and this time in, instead of using the texture overlay tool, I'm going to add the texture as a layer. So I'm gonna click that plus icon and I'm gonna select add new image layer. Then I'll choose an image and click open. This option gives you a lot more control over the layer that you're adding. For example, you can transform the layer. If you click Layer Transform, then you can actually rotate it or resize it and stretch it around however you want. And of course, you can flip it vertically, horizontally, use the little rotate icon if you want. I'm just gonna reset that because I'll keep it at the default and I'll click Done to get back to my Layers panel but this allows you to really customize uh, where the texture is placed in your image. Whereas with the texture overlay tool, it basically just stays centered and you can just kind of move it in and out. 
Here inside of the Layers panel, I'm going to make sure I do change that blending mode, and I'll go down to Overlay just like I did with the other image. You can also set the image opacity, same as before. I'll just keep this one at 100% for now. But one of the neat things about adding a texture as a new layer is that you can add other effects to your image instead of just adjusting the brightness, the contrast, and the saturation as you could with the texture overlay tool. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go into the essentials category and I'll jump to color. I have vibrance. I can maybe play with the vibrance. I can maybe shift the hue around a little bit. Maybe nothing too crazy. If you want to completely desaturate your texture, the simplest way is to go into black and white conversion and click convert to black and white. I'm going to undo that because I want to keep some of that color intact. Let me go into the creative category. I could even add a LUT to the texture. So maybe I want to find something that looks a little bit different, like maybe a little bit more faded or something with a little bit more color or contrast. As I'm scrolling over them, I get to see uh, the results, which is kind of cool. So I'll just pick a random one there. I'm going to go up to matte look, and I'm going to add a little bit of fade to it. So I'll increase the amount and then increase that fade. Kind of gives it a little bit more of an antiquated look. Let's go ahead and do a quick before and after toggle just to see what the edits are so far. And another fun thing that you can do to a texture layer is add a texture to it. So I'm basically doubling up the amount of textures I had. So I'll go down to Texture Overlay. I'll click Load Texture. And let me add another one of these. Again, I want to make sure that I change that blend mode. But first, I'm going to increase the opacity. And now I'm going to change my blend mode. Now, remember, I have a blend mode on the entire layer. So with that normal blend mode set, it's already basically an overlay blend mode. But when you add uh, another blend mode, you're kind of doubling up. So it's just a really fun way to kind of see what kind of results you can get. You know, and as I hover over them, I get to see uh, what they look like. The color one is actually really interesting. Let's see what that does. Just basically adds a wash of color over everything. But if I were to go down to soft light, let's see what that does. I just kind of have to toggle it on and off to really get a good feel for it. I think darken is kind of neat as well. And that's neat because it's adding some texture into the inside, but it's not, it's, it's adding color and stuff to the outside, but it's not really texturizing it as much. So maybe I'll keep it at darken and then reduce the opacity. And I'll play with the saturation of only that layer. That looks kind of neat. It kind of gives it like a dirty look in the background. So I'm just really building up those layers. And I could keep going from here and keep adding other edits. I could even add another layer with another texture and just keep going if I wanted to. So those are two ways that you can use Luminar to add textures to your photographs.